Hey guys, welcome back to Bombay TV. So today we're we'll reacting to top five reasons people convert to Islam. Guys, like we're well, checking this out with you guys. Right? This video is actually sponsored by Koi. Guys, they made this video possible. Guys, they has they sell one of the best outfits out there. Guys, I need to visit that store. They sell one of the best outfits. Like I need to say it again, and it's very very affordable. So. Go check them out. You're gonna get 15% off when you use my promo code, guys. So, guys, check it out. Guys, let's go straight into this one, though. In this episode of For All Humans, we look at why people choose to embrace the religion of Islam. The Economist says Britain sees about 5,200 conversions a year, and in America, nearly a quarter of Muslims are converts. Have you ever wondered why? Let me share with you the five top reasons why new Muslims embrace Islam. The first reason cited by many converts is their exposure to some aspect of Islamic culture, from architecture to calligraphy to prayer. The solace and tranquility brought by the Adam, the Islamic call to prayer recited from the mosque to announce each of the five daily ritual prayers, has attracted many non-Muslims to Islam. In 2018, the independent newspaper told the story of a Scottish man who had not actually properly met a Muslim person and who had happened to hear the call to prayer when he was on holiday in Turkey. He said, it woke something up inside me and it inspired me to begin a spiritual quest. After buying the Quran from a local shop and reading it, he said, the Quran really shook me. It's quite a scary book to read because it tells you so much about yourself. The Hollywood actor Liam Neeson, after shooting a film in Turkey, describes the call to prayer as the most magnificent wake-up call that gets into your soul. The second reason people convert to Islam, a desire to establish a spiritual connection and as part of a search for meaning and inner peace. For converts, Islam fills a void in their societies. In fact, the Pew Research Center found that the top reason for converting was finding more meaning in Islam. An article about the issue in the Huffington Post says, converts to Islam are spiritual seekers who are looking for meaning in their lives and better ways to connect with God. Iman Jamal Rahman, in his book, Spiritual Gems of Islam, says over the centuries, Islamic sages have gleaned timeless spiritual insights and practices from sacred texts, meditation, and knowledge of the heart. New Muslims are motivated to embark on a journey to tap the fountain of Islamic spirituality. Number three, the rituals of Islam are also another reason people are attracted to the faith. Converts realize that Islamic practices like fasting are a way of achieving self-control rather than a restriction of personal freedom. Yentl, a Belgian Muslim who converted to Islam in 2018, says, During Ramadan, I feel much closer to God. I feel like I can start anew and that all my sins have been forgiven. Christiane Bakker, the former MTV and NBC presenter who converted to Islam, describes Ramadan as a test of willpower, which is not only a period of renunciation and self-discipline, but also as a process of physical and spiritual cleansing. She says the Islamic fasting month gives her a sense of closer proximity to God. Furthermore, she says, once the 30 days are completed, a certain euphoria sets in. I feel cleansed, fulfilled and closer to God. It is a wonderful feeling. I wish this high would last forever. At university, Sarah Ager, who was known for her Christian faith and recently converted to Islam, explains... Perhaps unsurprisingly, it is during Ramadan, when most Muslims refrain from food and drink during daylight hours, that she appreciates the practical aspects of her faith, her dress, prayer, routine, and the discipline of fasting. She also continues to reflect on Islamic prayer, saying the fact that I pray five times a day now means I have to stop what I'm doing. Even if I'm grumpy, we pray in a very physical way. You can't just pray in your head. You have to engage physically, having to bow and lean. 
Number four in the four all humans reasons why people convert to Islam, many attribute their conversion to their search for logical and intellectual answers to theological and life questions. For example, Natalia Darwich, a religious person who is active in her church community in central Switzerland, says she found logical answers to her questions when she came across the Quran. Teresa Corbin, an American writer, describes in her online article for CNN, I'm a feminist and converted to Islam, her experiences. She says, my journey to Islam began when I was about 15 years old and I had questions about my faith. The answers from teachers and clergymen didn't satisfy me. As I studied the Islamic faith, I was surprised. Many of the tenets resonated with me. I was pleased to find that Islam teaches its adherents to honor all prophets from Moses to Jesus to Muhammad, all of whom taught mankind to worship one God and to conduct ourselves with higher purpose. Corbin further emphasizes that she was drawn to Islam's appeal to intellect and astounded that science and rationality were embraced by Muslim thinkers like al Khwarizmi, who invented algebra, Ibn Farnas, who developed the mechanics of flight before da Vinci, and al Zawrawi, who is the father of modern surgery. So we've discussed the attraction to an intriguing aspect of the Islamic culture as a cause for conversion to Islam, the search for meaning and a more spiritual path, the fascination with Islamic rituals, and finding logical relevance. The fifth and final reason in our discussion here at For All Humans is the search for community. Many converts speak of the feeling of community that they experience in their journey to Islam. Muslims across cultures are known to be very generous in welcoming people into their society. Yeah. A representative in the Islamic Center in the UAE who oversees many residents becoming Muslims says, I think it's because they see the sense of community and they see Muslims fasting and praying, referring to Muslims gathering together to break their fast and to pray during the month of Ramadan. An article in The Economist describes how people can become fed up with lewdness, obscenity and indecency in their societies. They seek a sense of common purpose where Muslims from a variety of backgrounds can come together to form a diverse community which strongly emphasises the notions of decency, morality and modesty. We hope you enjoyed this episode, so let us know what you think in the comments. Guys, this is really, really amazing. Like, one thing I love about Muslims is that, like, when you convert to the religion, the love they give to you, like, the hug, the... It's amazing. And during Ramadan, when they eat, like, they eat together, they eat like a family. That love of union is just so amazing. And it's something I really, really took note about Islam, though. I feel the religion is amazing. To be honest, you guys believe in God, and I believe in God, and you guys believe in all the prophets, and I believe in... I won't call them prophet per se, I'll call them men of God. That's what we call them, but I think prophet means man of God, but we don't call them prophet, we call them men of God. So, we, I believe in the men of God too, so it's, it's, it's beautiful, like, the religion is amazing, like, those are actually practice real Islam, like, the religion you talk about. Like, I know there's some people that brought in some doctrines, but like those that practice Islam, like the one we know that deals with God and it gets me, like no other person within God. Like it's amazing. Like I you gotta have this pure heart. The love you guys share when someone converts. Like I talked about this in my other video. I think the first time I tried reacted to when I started reacting to Islam video, I watched when people were taking the Shahada. I hope I'm correct. Like the love they gave them was, it was out of this world. Like I spoke about it. It's something beautiful. You joining a religion and everyone is welcoming you with open arms. It's just, it's crazy. Like the, the love, I told you, like, I still feel it. It's beautiful. Like you can see people hugging. You know, when you hug someone, there's this kind of release, like, it's kind of inner peace you get. I don't know if you do, but I do. Like, when you hug someone, like, you feel, okay, when you accept the truth and you hug someone, or maybe ask someone for forgiveness and you hug the person, that's the way you feel, guys, and that feeling is amazing. The love 
makes them share is just crazy. Like they have their brothers back, and it's amazing. It makes me sense new, but I think you guys show it more. And during prayer, the way you guys pray, like I feel if you say Muslim praying, guys, you just have respect for the religion. Like that's one thing I know I do. I have respect for different people's believing, and it's I can say I like it because the way you guys prostrate, like showing respect not only with your heart but with your body too it's just beautiful like i must say it's beautiful guys don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel to see more boring videos guys please don't forget to like share visit koi i will make this video possible so i don't see any reason why you shouldn't visit them guys guys we'll see you next time guys best